Once upon a time, there was a teacher. This teacher's name was Mrs. Vicki Hamilton. One day, Mrs. Hamilton had an idea. Her idea was to do a project. The project, AGS Telebration, would include her sophomore advanced communication arts classes. The classes would use a new computer program called Storybook Weaver to make stories for third graders. Storybook Weaver is a software that enables people to put together little stories that uh, are products of our creative imagination. Mrs. Hamilton pursued the idea by talking to HES principal, Mrs. Sandra Gokin. When she got the okay, then the storytelling was on. First, the communication arts students divided into teams. Uh, three to four people per third grade classroom. Then these teams each designed questionnaires that the third grade teacher would give all of her students. The questionnaires were made to find out what each third grader was interested in. For example, favorite names, favorite animals, the kinds of stories they liked, like fantasy, happy ending, sad ending, or a lesson behind it, maybe their favorite sport, and whether they liked more words than pictures. With the answers, the sophomores were off to start the production of the individual tales. I wrote a little story, I wrote a story for this little girl about a, a monkey who had wings and could fly, and he'd uh, drop people on their head, he'd, he'd pick them up and drop them on their head, and uh, he picked up this princess, which was one of the little kids that I was made it for, and so he got sent away and then came back and apologized and everything. So uh, that was probably my favorite. The 25 10th graders wrote and illustrated over 150 stories. Some students only had five or six stories, but some had as many as nine stories to write. The sophomores worked on the presentations during their English period, and a few of them even stayed after school to work. Well, we worked on this over the course of a couple of weeks. Some of them have done it in a relatively short amount of time, as little as uh, two or three class periods. Others have worked longer on it. Just depended on what kind of uh, information they had on the questionnaire to design a particular story and what kind of time we had in the classroom. The stories told of far off places, amazing adventures, possible real life occurrences, and fictional legends. When the stories were checked by Mrs. Hamilton, it was time for the third graders to explore their own imaginations. I uh, certainly want to thank Mr. Barrett, Mr. Schweitzer. They have provided transportation for our sophomore students. The third graders were called out of class one by one to view and listen to their own personal story. When the students reached HES's library, the storybook Weaver let the story and pictures come to life. The stories were equipped with sound and background music. By the click of a mouse, a third grader could hear a car speed away, a monkey squeal, or even a lion roar. The third graders then filled out a report. This report was used to grade the sophomore's projects. I sure would like to do this again in the future. In fact, teachers from HES have written me, uh, the first ones anyway, who were involved in the experience, have written back on their surveys that they'd like our students to come over again this year and perhaps teach the third graders how to write the stories themselves. With the projects of memory and the frog off to school, the blue dinosaur could rest for a while. The end. This has been Sam Crest with Susie McIntyre, WCM at Night.